Some 2,700 years ago, the Greeks made a low round bread known as plankuntos. The dough for plankuntos was made with yeast, just like today's pizza crust. But the family resemblance goes even further. Some plankuntos were topped with olive oil, herbs, cheese, or meat, and then baked. Plankuntos weren't made with tomato sauce, but to a pizza anyway, they looked like family. Roman bakers also made a version of wannabe pizza. Theirs was called Panis Artilagunum. The name roughly translates to thin crust baked with leavened dough. The word pizza first appears in a kind of IOU written in the 10th century. The document states that a certain farmer would pay the Bishop of Gaeta 12 pizzas every Christmas and another 12 at Easter. Finally, in the early 1520s, Spanish conquistadors tripped over the tomato during their search for gold in the Americas. At the time, the city of Naples was in Spanish possession. When the tomato sailed to Europe, it stopped in Naples and found a home. Street vendors who sold pasta to Naples workers were the first to serve tomato sauce. But soon after, bakers competing for the lunch trade put tomato sauce on bread dough, added toppings, and ecoche, pizza.